most universities, they are just mascots. But at Texas A&M, it's more than that. Reveille is the highest ranking official in the Corps of Cadets, and she's also a five-star general. They had a, a system in World War II that um, dogs could become generals, colonels, and the student body put together enough money and decided that she was going to be instated as a general. And ever since then, Reveille has been the highest ranking member in the court. The tradition of Reveille started in 1931 when an unfortunate accident turned into a positive tradition. Reveille is the official mascot of Texas A&M University and is considered the first lady of Aggieland. Being the bearer of five silver diamonds, Reveille is the highest ranking member of the ROTC program at A&M. The first Reveille was found by a group of cadets that hit a little black and white dog on their way back to the university from Navasota in January 1931. The cadets brought the dog back to school so that they could nurse her back to health. The following morning when they awoke to Reveille being blown by the bugler, the dog was barking and this is how she coined the name Reveille. The next football game, Rev led the Fightin' Texas Aggie Band onto the field for their halftime performance and was named the official mascot. The original Reveille died on January 18, 1944. She was laid to rest at the north entrance of Kyle Field, as are all former Reveilles, so that they can watch the Aggies beat their opponents. After attempting other mascots for eight years, the students of Texas A&M University attempted to raise money to buy another Reveille. When they were not successful, a former student donated a sheepdog to the students in 1952, who became the second Reveille. Reveille 3 was the first Reveille mascot to be a purebred collie dog, while the others followed her example. Reveille 4 served as mascot from 1975 to 1984. Reveille 5 often stole erasers from chalkboards during class, while Reveille 6 was stolen by UT student Neil Andrew. Before this event, A&M was the only school in the Southwest Conference whose mascot had never been stolen. Reveille was taken during winter break while Neil found Reveille alone in the backyard and lured her through the gate. For almost a week, A&M denied that she was missing. After the school finally acknowledged her disappearance, Neil decided to leash her to a signpost and called the police to report her location. She was returned unharmed to A&M and resumed her duties. Reveille 6 also became a movie star in the 1996 film Reveille, My Life as an Aggie Mascot. Reveille Seven's manners are not always perfect, and in 2004 she bit several cadets. Reveille Seven had to resign, and now Reveille Eight took her place. Reveille is handled by Company E2 by a selected sophomore. This sophomore is known as the Mascot Corporal, and is responsible for her care 24-7. She must go everywhere with him, even on dates. Reveille is highly respected by the Corps of Cadets. Being addressed as Miss Rev Ma'am, if Reveille sleeps in the cadet's bed, they are forced to sleep on the floor that night. In addition to these traditions, if Reveille attends your class and luckily barks while class is in attendance, class is to be immediately dismissed. Meow. Guys. Sorry about that. Get down. Doing a good job. All right. Can I have that sandwich? I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay. <gasps> jerky. Yeah, do the jerky. Meow. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, you have a question? Are we going to be talking about um, stuffed animals today at all? Let's focus. Hey. Guys, this is a class. Please. Let's check the pulse. Anything? She's alive. What's that? Art. Tradition is tradition. Woo! Class is dismissed. All right, let's go. Reveille has brought lots of spirit and pride to Aggieland as the official mascot and will continue to do so for years to come.